So Dr. O'Day, again, if I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize. Uh, she is the coordinator of the People's Health Movement and basically been helping Palestinians who are uh, injured in the West Bank, dealing with COVID um, and, you know, trying to get access to medication and stuff like that. She was she was part of a, a movement that was uh, that was trying to help Palestinians. Well, Israel didn't particularly care for that and basically said, oh, you got to shut down. You can't uh, you can't operate in, in Ramallah anymore. This isn't right. The way you're operating, we don't like it. So you got to shut it down. So she, and it, she didn't because why would you? She's a doctor. She's there to help people. We're in the, still in the middle of a pandemic, you know, and she's still trying to, like, take care of these people who are suffering. That's her Hippocratic oath is to make sure that she does no harm. Why would she shut down this thing that's helping Palestinians who are suffering under oppression, uh, under an apartheid occupation? So she didn't. So they raided her house. They raided her comp, they, uh, her her whole org operation. And then they detained her. So she's arrested and under, uh, currently being detained by, uh, you know, the Israeli military. For what? Now, they're, they're claiming she broke the law by not shutting down her practice. But she didn't do anything wrong to begin with, so why would she need to shut down her practice? I think this is an attempt um, for Israel to let these diseases and various other conditions run rampant within the West Bank, within Gaza, within within you know occupied Palestine, and. And say, yeah, well, look, we didn't really do anything. We have a ceasefire. We're not sending rockets in there anymore. You know, um, so it wasn't really us that ended up causing the the death of these Palestinians. But you're cutting these services. Medical services are gone. And, uh, you know, Gaza is, quote, on a diet. I covered that in, in the video I released last week about how Israel is an apartheid state. They, they literally wrote that into the legislation. Hey, we need to put Gazans on a diet. So they regulate the amount of food and water that goes into Gaza. So even if you're not firing rockets, you're still starving these people. They're still not getting the nutrition that they actually need. They're still not getting access to clean water that they actually need. These are basic needs that Israel is blocking. These are Israeli sanctions on Palestinians now. So again, here's an example of how sanctions, economic warfare, is used to oppress a group of people to weaken them. And then send propaganda to be like, oh, look, Hamas can't take care of its people. Oh, look, Fatah can't take care of its people. No, they, they would if you wouldn't get in the way. Think about it as a sports metaphor. If you're really, and I'm not even a sports guy, so if this is a little messy, it's a little messy. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk to the normies here. Um, you know, the average person that doesn't do deep dives into into politics and history. If you're if you're an amazing batter, right? But you're a left-handed batter, and let's say the uh, the opposing team can't really get get you striked out you you keep hitting and you keep getting home runs uh and they go hey listen uh maybe this guy's on drugs we don't we don't know but let's not take any chances left hand the, the left hand gets tied behind the back and he has to bat with his right hand and then he misses and he gets struck out and they go see he's not very good he wasn't very good it was it was it was probably drugs that's probably what it was. No, you 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 tied his left hand. You tied his dominant hand behind his back. You're not letting him do what he would do. That's basically what's happening with economic sanctions. You're tying somebody's hand to their back and then saying they're not a good batter, but they're batting one-handed and not on their dominant hand. So you manufactured that report. That's what's happening with any economic sanction that gets placed, whether it's Palestine, Iran, Cuba, Venezuela, whatever it is. And that is not capitalism saving lives. That is capitalism 
doing its part to cause more human misery, to cause more suffering around the world. Restricting economic, uh, economic systems and ways of life that are built on uplifting people. Socialism, common if they, they work on uplifting people. Again, for the people that go, oh, well, what about China? What about Stalin? Yeah, those are authoritarian governments. Under true socialism and true communism, you don't veer in that direction. Because it's more about the betterment of society, not about an individual ascertaining power and wealth. That leans right back into capitalism. What reason that Israel needs to take away a doctor trying to do her job? Do no harm. That's what she was doing. She was trying to reduce harm in a in a, 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 a region of the world that is constantly being harmed. And this isn't anything new. Uh, Israel does this all the time. And the 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 uh, great march of the great march of return, they fired on medics, and then they used the famous medic to bolster their false human shield claims. What she actually said was, "We are the shields to the people because Israeli soldiers fucking shoot people when they're down." Because of that false narrative that everybody's Hamas. Everybody's not Hamas. And even if they were, that's the legally elected government in Gaza. So now you're making a political killing. This is, so again, here, here's more examples of the fact that they're committing war crimes. And they're going against the Geneva Conventions. And there's no trial for them. Everybody's just saying silent. The international community can't stay silent when they're doing shit like this. Or they just ignore it. Or they just go, bah, huh. there's probably other reasons. Hey, I'll keep moving on. It's the same thing, the mindset of your biases. Of like, no, 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 governments can't be that bad. They are. It's happening right in front of our eyes. Anyway, uh, Zosevic says uh, Americans are under sanctions called austerity. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Uh, Holly's adding Syria and Yemen to those sanctions as well. Yes, exactly. Uh, Marco Rubio is a gusano. I don't. What is a gusano? I don't think I know that translation. Should I look that up? I'm going to look that up. Is it a curse word? Did I just learn a curse word in a different language? I'm not sure I know. Oh, it, there's counter-revolutionary. Okay. It's a, it's a derogatory term for a Cuban reactionary or a counter-revolutionary. <laughs> or a worm. That's what it translates to? Oh, man. Holly throwing, throwing shade, throwing shade. I love it. I love it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people-powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com slash donate. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar 
or a, a pay what you want pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists, such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gastola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that, that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them. Um, uh, it'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. I, I very, very much appreciate it, and uh, and you guys help keep this uh, keep keep this this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.